Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Light State Gamers, and welcome. So today I'm here with Keith to have a look at the Pathfinder Mark 1 that I saw in a link in the description to one of my videos. I have to say, it looked absolutely amazing, so I contacted him, and I've got him here to give us a little tour of this small ship, gone large, you could say. So, what, so what's this des design of the ship for then? Um, is it an exploration, or...? Yeah, m mostly exploration, but... It can definitely do some damage as well. <laughs> it can definitely do some damage. What sort of weapons we got on here? Well, I thought I'd start off with a 88 millimeter cannons, battle cannons 88. here. Oh, very nice. And something a little faster firing with the 37 millimeter auto cannons there. This is this is not an exploration. This is just to completely destroy anyone it comes up. No, no exploration. Definitely exploration. <laughs> Exploring not the holes in the other people's ships, like I said before. Oh, let's. What, so, what have we got? The big ones, 105s? <laughs> uh, yeah, the. Actually, 120mm. 120. Oh. Yeah. And then you've got the scatter the guns. guns. Got yeah, them scatter guns underneath. underneath. Wow, really cool. And up, up here, you've got some. You've got like a camera and a tenor and what's this? An ore detector. Yeah. And then on top, we've got one of the first turrets, I guess. Are these, are these, these are like scatter turrets, aren't they, I believe? Uh, they're just small Gatlin turrets. Oh, small Gatlin turrets. Oh, very cool. And then you've got the cockpit for it there as well. Yeah, yeah. cockpit for each gunner. Alright, well, let's pass the airlock on the back and actually have a look at the cargo bay. So the cargo bay looks like it's um, defended by these two little cockpits here that look manable for these turrets. That's pretty damn sweet. Yeah. And then up into there, you've got a way of loading your fresh cargo. But let's let's go through the airlock anyway. You've got a cargo bay door as well. Oh, button. I can't resist pressing any buttons. Let's go, let's go in through the side. Lead the way, sir. So we've also got these amazing little s a combination of sage thrusters, and I don't, I don't know what these thrusters are called. Well, what's, what's the name of these large middle sort of thrusters in the middle? Uh, they're listed on the workshop as S modular thrusters by uh, Sectan, I think. Oh, they're the ones that are, like be stretched to any different shape and stuff. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, let's go inside. Let's have a look. So we've got a cool little loading bay light here. I'm gonna have to come through. And I'll, I'll close this one up behind me. There we go. Should we go left towards the cargo bay first? And you can have a look in the cargo bay. Yeah. yeah so so what's really cool about these compartments that, that Keith's done here is we've got little lights on each one as well. So we can turn the lights on of each individual compartment. As well as sealing up the airlock behind us. So this is the, lo the loading bay, you could say. You're standing on the big door, aren't you? Someone could drop you out into... Yeah, don't press that button. <laughs> Come back up. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> and so, so through here we've got all the cargo containers. So th these are like a nice little storage because they like pocket storage, aren't they? So you aim at them through an angle. Yeah. And then what's at the back here? Oh, Just so a big, big connector. Back. Yeah. Oh, big in the connector. Very cool. So uh, nice medium cargo container there. And we've got two airlocks. We've got one on both sides, haven't we? So we've got that's an airlock. Yeah. And that's one as well. Let's should we go to the front of the ship. Yep. Let's go. So we've got another. We've got another area already. We've got yeah. What's this on the one? Left here. Left. Oh, do you want to start in there? Yeah, oh, start in there. Another storage room. Very nice. What we got just over? For stuff that you don't really need to transfer <laughs> through connectors and that. No, yeah, like private storage. That's what I'd call it. Yeah. The smuggler's sort of storage case. It's just a toilet yeah. in that room. Let's I told open. You it's an exploration <laughs> ship, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Pop open this other door. Let's have a look what's behind it. And here we have the throne. We have the throne and necessary room. This one is without the window. Very good indeed. You've also got a toilet light, and you've got a, a, a toilet roll storing into cargo container up there as well. Very important. Yep. That's toilet missing. Roll and fuel, of course. <laughs> missing from many people's ships. Toilet rolls. Uh, let's um, close that up and take me through to the front of the ship, if you would. Oh, well done. We've missed an amazing compartment. You've not told me about this up area here. Oh yeah, I forgot about that myself. This is um, this that is just above us. What so is the the cockpits for the the turrets on the top? I'm gonna have a hop the in gunner seats. Oh, it's so cool. This you can just imagine gunning down some fighters approaching. I mean, they're really nicely laid out. It's almost like a Star Citizen sort of ship layout style. You've got the back turret there. Oh no, I've ended up outside. I have to have to come in through the airlock again. How have you done that? <laughs> just because I think you were in the position where I got out. You know, so I coming back in. Let's go through. Oh, we got lockers here, and we got some beds to lie in. I'm gonna have a lie down. Oh, very nice, very nice indeed. Oh, I can just imagine having a nap while someone's on the bridge. 
Really cool. And you've got some containers over here. Now, I have to say, this is one of the most amazing parts of this ship, how you've laid out the details and the buttons in here. You've also got the lighting system here, so you've got cockpit lights on button one. What was button two again? Uh, button two is airlock lights. Airlock lights. Button, oh, yeah, I can see it three flashing. Button is for the connector lights at the back, and button four will seal all the doors on the ship. Let's... Well, there we go. All the doors are now sealed. Should we have a sit down? Do you want to take the, the primary cockpit seat? What, what you've done really cool with these as well is you've oh, done the chair. Oh, I'll come back in it because I was standing in the place. What you've done really cool with these seats though is you put the little um, AI computer in front of them so it looks like, you know, they're actually at work or looking at the screen as well. That's a really cool yeah. idea. Are you almost back in? Want me to open this door up? Speed up the process. Um, yeah. There you go. Come back into the cockpit. I'll sit down here so I'm out of the way. And you get the front seat. There you go. Do you want to take us up? Disengage the landing gear. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. Wow. Right, give it give us the let's hear some of them weapons. Okay, we got the scatter cannons. Got the 88s. Oh no, they're the auto cannons, aren't they? Yeah. And then what Oh we know what they are, they're the big ones. Is it it's quite Man, fast this thing? You're right, they are the big ones. I've gone deaf nearly. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. Th them thrusters make such a good sound as well. So, Keith, thanks for taking me around the Pathfinder today. It is an absolutely beautiful ship, and you guys are going to have to check it out on the workshop as well. I'll have some links for that in the description below. But thanks for joining us, and I'll see you next time.